Well, we're going to another ballpark. Ooh, look at that sunset over there. I, I believe he has something to say. Hold on one second. This man will occur. What's up everybody, it's Shooter Adi. We're already back in Boston, so um, we have to figure, it's been quite some time. Um, well, not quite some time, a little less time when we got back from Vegas, but I wanted to talk a little bit about Las Vegas ballpark because I got some footage, but it's a crazy day and I didn't get a lot of my commentary that I wanted to do as a stadium. Um, but I gotta tell you, it's a beautiful ballpark. Um, it's one of the pros right there. It's, it's a big, it was filled. It was a Saturday night, the stadium was filled into the season. It was great. Everything great about it. Um, there is a hotel, I guess, out in kind of like in past the outfield, that old complex area they built. Um, the drawback it is, it's quite a distance from the strip. Um, it is on a road that is perpendicular to uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. So and it's almost like in the middle. So depending if you're coming from Old Vegas, or New Vegas, it's kind of out of the way. You gotta take an Uber. It's about 13 miles, give or take. So, I mean, that adds up on the price getting there and coming back. So it's not like, not like the old one, Cashman failed or Hawk, uh, not like, not that that one was very easy to get to. It was a 20 mile minute walk from the old Vegas strip, which I did before. So it's, it's not terrible. You're not going through the nicest neighborhood. And I probably wouldn't suggest doing it at night for the old one, but. The new one, it just you can't walk. You gotta take it. So that's the only problem with that. Um, other than that, it was, it was pretty nice. I mean, the price is a little expensive. We, we noticed that in Vegas in general, um, everything was very expensive. More expensive than it has been. And we 
hadn't been there in about six years, and the prices are almost double for the most common stuff. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's really no deals anymore for alcohol. You get some happy hours, you find still a few small places. Uh, with the stadium, you're paying regular prices, you're paying professional stadiums, your prices almost, you're not getting any minor league discount deals on the food or the drinks, and to be very honest with you, not really on the ticket prices either. The ticket prices are still 30 bucks a piece. So, um, you're not really saving any money on that. So, it, you know, I know inflation is uh, hitting everything and everything has to go up and stuff like that. But the minor league ball games used to be the, the games you go to to take the families because it was a little cheaper, but not so much anymore. So, other than that, the price being a little steep from stuff and, you know, the ability to get there from the strip. The stadium was nice. Um, not sure what they're going to do with it once the A's get there in three years. Um, I would hope that, you know, one of the colleges take it over or something like that. Because it's a good, nice, brand new four-year-old, five-year-old stadium. But, you know, having the A's on the strip will be very, very convenient. Even though it's towards the end of the strip, it's still um, accessible by... The monorail which would be a great way of doing it and um, just walking around and stuff like that you know so hopefully the, the Tropicana complex stays in place that's the case going to an A's game in Las Vegas would be as simple as going to Golden Knights um, which is also on the strip as well so you know um, I think that's the way to do it and um, other than that we had a great time nice seeing another ball pocket that and the list and everything like that and uh, considering that the minor league team may not be there very long so it was cool. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the Vegas uh, videos. Um, leave your comments below and let us know what you think. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification, we get new ones. See you later.